Bunch of Crunch Army, where you at? Man, I am back again, man. I'm pumped up more than ever. It is yours, the one and only, your motivation guy. Back again to bring you guys up to date on all the latest developments in the world of competitive Fortnite. Let me ask you this. Did you guys enjoy Operation Skyfire? Well, we sure did. That event had us on our toes to the very end. However, much has changed since the last time that we dropped on the island. Yeah, that's right, man. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8 is here, and so there are new enemies to fight, new features and a brand new battle pass to work our way through. So get ready for a crash course in this new update, guys, because the alien invasion may have subsided, but out of the ashes of the mothership comes a new war. If you're expecting major changes to the map, I'm telling you right now, it's going to be somewhat of a letdown to know that most of the POIs remain intact. However, that doesn't mean that you won't have to tweak your landing spots for the current season. Okay, so one thing to look out for is the new roaming sideways. This can alter how you tackle your choice of landing spot and, you know, really the kinds of loot that you can find. If you intend to make use of the sideways weaponry, then your main goal will be to collect enough cubes to really build your loadout. If this is the case, then you're going to want to consider dropping in one of these altered areas. However, I will say this if you're trying to go for elimination points man you might not want to spend too much time just grinding for cubes when you can be like picking out players in the early game in fact in some instances like it might be more favorable to really land and loot as many chests as possible rather than just sticking around to grind all right so this is going to play out differently during tournaments since the poi affected by the sideways change each match players are going to need to have multiple plans and explore each individual area while under the effects of the sideways to have a full comprehensive understanding of the benefits of each landing spot you know more importantly like if you intend to avoid the sideways in the early game okay you're gonna have to have an alternate loot route ready just in case your first choice is bubbled out one thing is for certain guys the sideways chests make these areas very attractive for those looking for good loot all right do you want to hit the ground running when it comes to performing well in fortnite chapter 2 season 8 well all you need to do is head on over to proguides.com our team of world-class fortnite coaches are ready and waiting 24 hours a day seven days a week to help you guys improve super fast there is literally no no better way to improve at Fortnite, so head on over there right now to hire a coach. Alright, so with the aliens defeated and their technology blasted out of the sky, there's plenty of interesting remnants to check out right now. These burned out patches of land are all that really remains of the once menacing mothership, but there are still some useful technologies that really still work. The technology that I'm talking about is the slip streams and launch pads. So slip streams allow players to travel around the crash sites in a loop. Like you could go in either direction and easily jump out and just redeploy. This is a great way to really position yourself during a firefight and really can give you guys the opportunity to gain a tactical advantage against other players. You know, it's also a great way of just getting closer to players quickly if you hear the gunfire close by. Launch pads can also be found scattered around the wreckage. You know, they offer a quick but very effective boost in whichever direction that they're facing. You know, we find these to be fantastic methods of just making a quick escape. You know, you cover plenty of ground in very little time and the pads are usually powerful enough to really get you as far away from a fight as possible. All right, this time on Fortnite, we got a brand new roaming event. Much like the abductions over the UFO attack, each match is going to give you guys a new location for sideways bubbles. In one game, you might be able to see the green fields of corny crops. In the next, uh, a dirty bubble shrouds the area. It's hard to see, and pits of magma might launch you into the air. You know, it's a real hazard zone, and really it changes with each match. You're going to be able to spot the areas on your map before dropping, so you're also going to be able to really see them from above while you're on the battle bus. So, take some time, man, and just come up with a plan before deciding where you want to drop more importantly man like if you're thinking of dropping into a sideways bubble there is one rule that you gotta remember the air inside them does not allow for any crafting yeah that's right these pockets are in no crafting zone so you're gonna have to rely on your weapons to survive or just hightail it out of there before you get devoured if you're brave and you have the weapons to take down the horde of monsters and you're gonna be able to be rewarded with special sideways chests which contain rare loot you know it's also interesting to know that each monster that you kill will refill your shields by 10 points or so Hopefully that's going to help you last longer as you search for the goods. And if you're thinking of playing competitively this season, okay, we recommend learning how to maneuver the sideways bubbles. It can get you all geared up very early in the game. And we're going to go into more detail on the exclusive new weapons later in this video. Okay, so another interesting change is the tweaking of the revival system. So in prior seasons, we've grown accustomed to seeing reboot vans like around the map. These vans are used to revive fallen teammates if you manage to collect their reboot card. So with the new update, 
Rebooting has been like simplified and really made much more accessible to players. The number of reboot bans like have definitely been increased, making it easier for squads to revive their teammates even in the late game. And so what's even more like you no longer have to interact with the item to pick up a reboot car. You can simply walk over your fallen squad mates and you will automatically collect it. See? No hands. All right, so with that said, man, like we can expect rebooting to be just much more common and competitive. In fact, like we might even see more players make it to the late game with jump pads allowing players to make quick escapes. We mentioned these pads before and really how easy it is really just making it get around certain areas. And so combined with the new reboot van locations, it's going to be so interesting to see teams making a comeback after a quick escape through the launch pads. So will this new gameplay mechanic turn the tide in future competitive matches? Will we see kill records be broken as players cover more grounds? Well, we're definitely going to wait and see as the season progresses. An interesting consumable comes in the form of Shadow Stone. These cubes allow you to transform into a Shroud of Mist. Okay, so you're going to be less visible during this time and your movement speed is increased. You can also jump much higher, giving you more mobility on foot. And so these cubes can be found around the map and are instantly consumed when interacted with. Fortunately, okay, so there is an alternative if you want to be able to carry it around and just use it at your leisure. This comes in the form of the Shadow Flopper, which acts as a portable version of the cubes. You can find them in fishing holes and carry them around until you need them. Once again, this season of Fortnite is giving us plenty of options for retreating from a fight and regrouping. All right, as always, weapons are constantly being vaulted and unvaulted. And so this new season is really no different. If you are a fan of that AK-47, then it's definitely time to find a new weapon because uh, those are back in the vault. Pump shotgun fans can breathe a sigh of relief <laughs> because your favorite one-shot weapon can still be found on the island. If you're a natural captain of Hab, you're definitely going to be delighted to hear that the harpoon gun is back in action. This will be especially useful if you plan to implement the new ghost flopper into your strategy. Interestingly enough, not all IO equipment has been erased from the island. The recon scanner and the railgun can still be found at the IO bases that remain active. So there is also a whole slew of new weaponry in the form of sideways weapons, which can be found exclusively in the sideways. From bones to gears to alien nanites, crafting has offered us plenty of options for our arsenal these past few seasons, right? Now it's all about cubes, man. Like cube monster parts are scattered throughout the sideways and can be collected by killing monsters. These nifty little resources allow you to craft sideways weapons and even upgrade them a bunch as well, which is really cool. Each monster kill drops about two to three cubes. Upgrades to an epic weapon usually cost around 20 cubes. Okay, so if you want a pretty decent let out early game, you're going to want to hit the sideways as soon as possible. Like this will likely be in situations where you are forced to ditch your drop spot or just simply acquire a bad loadout off spawn. Monsters are easy to kill even with lower tier weapons. However, it is easy to get swarmed if you're not careful. And so our recommendation, guys, would be to gain the high ground. Monsters have limited options for attacking you from a distance. And so while crafting may not be an option in these zones, hey, you can still destroy stairs and prevent them from reaching you. Once you've gained a good position, you can just easily take them out and just collect your cubes. This time around, you can even obtain a mythic weapon through crafting instead of defeating a boss. You can keep upgrading your sideways weapon from rare to epic to legendary and finally reach mythic. What's more interesting about the sideways weaponry is how they power up the more you overheat them. Like, the closer they get to blowing out, the more power each shot will have. So time your fire right and you've got weapons that are going to pack a punch. The new sideways minigun might prove an interesting way of clearing out enemy builds or just spraying damage on multiple players at once. Nuts and bolts return once more and can be used to create automatic snipers and charged shotguns. Automatic snipers have been vaulted since chapter one, so if you loved it back, then don't miss your chance to wield it once more in season two, chapter eight. All right, so you may have noticed something interesting during your first few games of the season. <laughs> That's right. There are bulletin boards for donations popping up all over the turrets. So the fight against the monsters is going to be tough. However, with your donation of gold, you can help decide which POIs get extra fortification. This new mechanic is community driven and will offer some flexibility and how the competitive season evolves from here on out. And so you're going to even be able to vote on which weapons you want unvaulted later on this season. So I'm going to say this, put your gold down and help the cause because you might just be able to tilt the odds in your favor. Your vote may even be the deciding factor in how future competitions pan out. What do you guys think about all the new changes this season? Are you guys excited to unlock that wicked carnage 
skin? Or perhaps you're ready to start practicing for the new season of Competitive. Like always, we're going to be able to cover all the latest strategies as we explore this dangerous new world. Hopefully, the survivors are going to be able to contain the spread of the sideways, right? All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys liked the video. Feel more prepared to tackle the new challenges? Well, I hope so, man. Once again, this is your motivation guy, Keith Allen. I'm pumped up more than ever because this is a brand new season with brand new possibilities, man. Brand new hopes. So be encouraged. Don't be discouraged. And have faith in yourself, man, because you can do it. You can overcome all the obstacles. You can persevere through anything that stands before you if you can believe. When you fall down, you get back up. If you lose a match, hey, maybe you need to take a break or just keep going. But you know what, man? At the end of the day, it's sometimes it takes us to fail to learn how to win. And so even in your losses, just understand that's the mentality. That even when you're failing, you're learning, you're growing. And, uh, you know, it's going to make you a better person. I want you to be great, not only in this game, but also in life. Because life is huge, right? It's not just all about Fortnite. There's so many things we deal with in our lives. And so we want you guys to be prepared. Your motivation guy wants you to be motivated to be the best gamer that you can be, to be the best Fortnite player you can be. But the most important thing is to be the best person you can be. I believe in you guys. Make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. And once you subscribe to the channel, you are officially a part of the Bunch of Crunch Army. Hey, man, we love you guys. Keep going. Peace.